now on to film five of the Inner Sanctum Mysteries, which is Strange Confessions. And this one opens up um, by a man who seems to burst into this person's house, someone he used to know, to tell his tale. His tale of woe and what's happened. And the rest of this movie then becomes a flashback, building up to this mysterious opening of the film. And in this one, we have Lon Chaney playing Jeff Carter. And he is a scientist working on cures for a pharmaceutical company. And he, um, at the start of this movie, is working with this boss, Jeff Graham, who just seems to be all about the money. He's one of those horrible figures of a company who you just detest because all you're interested in is profits. Not actually if this thing works, but quite clearly on, you, you see that Jeff has morals. He doesn't want to rush anything. He wants to make sure that it's something that's going to help humanity, that's going to work before they put a price tag on it. And after a moment, Jeff decides to quit because he can't work with this man no longer. And his wife uh, kind of supports him in one manner, but in another manner, wants him to do better. Knows that he's a smart and intelligent man who's doing good work, but wants him to take advantage of some of the financial trappings that could come with that. But Jeff, being uh, such a moral crusader as he is, decides to um, leave that company he gets blackballed into working uh, in a pharmacist until a year or so later uh, when Graham comes back and offers him an offer that's too good to be true. His own laboratory, his own time scale to work. He won't be rushed for any results. He just has to do his work, in which case Jeff Graham will take the money and, and, and make a small fortune off this man's hard work. But Jeff is, is interested in this mould that he would like to get to South Africa. Now, Graham doesn't want to send him there until he meets Jeff's wife and suddenly becomes quite enamoured by her uh, and decides to send uh, Jeff away for a period of time, at which point he both steals a formula for an unfinished uh, cure for influenza and also tries to woo Jeff's wife while he's away. And this is one of the most despicable and horrible characters I've seen in any of these movies. I loathed Graham. I thought he was a horribly manipulative and just downright terrible character. I wanted him to get as much comeuppance as possible because I just, oh, that guy. I just didn't like him. And the, the frustration comes from Jeff's wife going out with him and not really seeing what is his ultimate plan, what this guy, quite manipulative, is. He's being all nice and is flashing the cash and, and being complimentary. Uh, at the same time, getting sly digs about Jeff, his worker is away making a, a cure for influenza that's going to save him a fortune. And you kind of have these two disparaging stories because you've got uh, Jeff with his uh, co-worker, played by Lloyd Bridges, who's down in South America doing some work, trying to get this cure and really stumbling uh, into a, a fantastic result for them. We've got Graham and his wife, uh, Mary, who seem to be having more and more uh, time together. And at certain points, you're not really too sure what Mary's thinking. And I personally was worried that at any point she was maybe going to go with Graham and leave Jeff behind and go for a better option of life. Um, but of course things transpire and you get to a really climactic ending which is super fitting for the movie, which is great. And then we get to that bookended uh, part of the movie where it mimics the start of it. I, I thought Strange Confessions was a really different again set up for the Inner Sanctum Mysteries. Again, we've got various different locations and production standards which are all great. The cast of, of uh, actors that supported this were really fun. I loved Lloyd Bridges' character. Um, I, I thought Mary was great. I hated Graham, but that was my job in, in, in watching this, is to hate that character. And I just, I just loved so many things about it. It's one of my favourites from this set so far. Uh, really strange and twisted. And now, 
I'm going to have to move on to the last movie of this. But anyway, I'd love to know your thoughts of Strange Confessions. Let me know in the comment box below. I'll see you next time. I'm Man V Film.